You wouldn't hire somebody to walk into a nuclear power plant and just start flipping switches or pushing buttons or operating valves without knowing exactly what they're doing, right? No! Now that's the button that will kill everyone! Without training in nuclear theory, physics, thermodynamics, reactor principles, you wouldn't even expect them to understand how their actions would affect the reactor, let alone trust them to operate it. That kind of deep understanding is essential, and it normally takes years to develop. But for Navy nukes, this timeline is different. They're expected to learn all of this foundational theory in a matter of months. Nuclear Power School is phase two of the Navy Nuclear Power Training Pipeline. It's an intense training environment where students are pushed to absorb and apply advanced theoretical knowledge at a pace few can keep up with. If you haven't already watched my last video on Nuclear Field A School, I highly recommend starting there. It breaks down the first phase of the pipeline and sets the stage for what makes Power School such a massive leap forward. In this video, I'll show you what Navy nukes go through during Power School what they actually learn, and why the experience produces some of the most capable, adaptable technical professionals in the world. I'll also share my personal experience and what it takes to survive this program, and how it builds the foundation for a nuclear-trained operator who can step into a complex, high-stakes environment with confidence and precision. Let's get into it. Navy Nuclear Power School, often just called a power school, is phase two of the Navy's three-step training pipeline to develop nuclear power plant operators and supervisors. It's located at Naval Nuclear Power Training Command, or NNPTC, in Goose Creek, South Carolina, inside the same building as Nuclear Field A School, just on the opposite side. The building itself is named the Rickover, after Admiral Hyman G. Rickover, the father of the Naval's nuclear power program. This six-month, high-intensity program builds directly on what students learned in A school, but it pushes far deeper into nuclear theory, physics, chemistry, thermodynamics, reactor operations, and more. Regardless of whether someone is training to be an electronics technician in nuclear, ETN, electrician's mate nuclear, EMN, or a machinist mate nuclear, MMN, they all go through roughly the same curriculum. Power school isn't just about absorbing information. Can we start the story now? It's about proving you can master complex systems and maintain discipline under pressure and keep up with an intense learning curve. And as a bonus, students earn significant college credit that can be applied to technical degrees later on in their careers. Personally, I was able to apply 77 credits towards my bachelor's of science in the nuclear field. By the time students reach power school, they have already gone through A school, which in my opinion is the hardest part of the nuclear pipeline. Not because the material is more complex, but because it's the first time students are challenged to learn how to learn. In A school, students have to figure out what works for them, how to study, how to retain technical knowledge, and how to manage time. Once they figure that out, Power School pushes them to refine and optimize those strategies. The volume of the information increases dramatically and they're expected to keep up. That means developing strong time management, managing strict organization, and planning your week around study demands. You're assigned mandatory study hours, but in reality, that's just the minimum. If you don't fully grasp a subject, you stay longer, you study more. For me, that meant sacrificing family time, waking up early, staying late, spending weekends inside of the Rickover building, because this isn't just school, it's your job. And failing isn't just a bad grade, it's the end of the pipeline. For employers, this environment produces workers who don't want to be just told what to do. They identify gaps, they take initiative, and put the time in to get the job done right even when no one's watching. The curriculum is no joke. Subjects include mathematics, nuclear physics, reactor principles, material science, electrical and mechanical theory, health physics, thermodynamics, heat transfer, fluid flow, chemistry, and nuclear reactor technology. Each subject builds on the last and there's no time to fall behind. If you miss a concept, you can't just catch up. You have to dig in immediately often on your own time to stay afloat. And that's just the academic pressure. NNPTC is also held to strict security standards. No personal electronics, no phones, laptops, or tablets are allowed inside. Study materials and notes cannot leave the building and watch standards are stationed at every entry and exit to ensure compliance. Violations are not taken lightly. Under the Uniform Code of Military Justice, otherwise known as the UCMJ, even something as simple as taking notes outside of the building can lead to a military legal action. Students learn early that operational security isn't optional, it's integrated into everything we do, 
Even the conversations outside the classroom are regulated. Some topics can't be discussed outside of secure areas, and even writing things down from memory is prohibited. Even classrooms require blinds closed at certain times to prevent information leaks. It's a level of accountability most people never experience, and it stays with you long after the program ends. Power school is about one thing above all, theory. Before anyone touches a reactor or operates a valve, they have to deeply understand the why behind every process. Students must master the physics, the flow paths, and the chemistry, the foundational knowledge that allows them to make sense of complex systems under pressure. This theoretical framework is what enables Navy nukes to spot problems before they happen, react intelligently in high-stress environments, and communicate with certainty and confidence. Without this knowledge, the third phase of training would be impossible. Power School ensures that when hands-on experience begins, students already know what they're looking at and what it means. For me, Power School was the most mentally exhausting part of the pipeline. I had a wife and two young kids at home, but most of my time was spent inside the Rickover building sometimes 20 to 30 extra hours a week beyond the schedule. There were nights I barely saw my family. Weekends disappeared into studying notes and being in study groups, but I knew that if I didn't sacrifice that time, I wouldn't make it through. I graduated with a 3.36 GPA, which isn't perfect, but it's more than enough. In power school, that's what matters. It's not about being a genius. Probably can't tell, but I am flexing my brain like crazy right now. It's about showing up, grinding, and proving you can retain and apply critical information under pressure. Every grade is calculated on a 4.0 scale. If someone says they know something 4.0, it means that they've mastered a subject with complete confidence. The final hurdle is PowerSchool Comp, a comprehensive essay-based exam that covers everything students have learned throughout the program. It's not multiple choice, it's not just formulas. It tests understanding, reasoning, and the ability to communicate technical information clearly and accurately. For many, comp is a make or break moment. If a student doesn't pass, they have to go through remediation, which is an intensive period of retraining and reassessment. After that, they get one final chance. Pass, and they move on to the next phase of the pipeline. Fail, and their time in the nuclear program is over. Graduation is held outside of the Rickover building at Rickover Circle. It marks the end of the academic grind and the start of the operational journey. Power School is designed to test more than just intelligence. It tests work ethic, time management, discipline, and the ability to stay sharp under pressure. If you're an employer, understand this. Navy nukes don't just pass tests. They master theory under conditions that most people would burn out from. They learn fast, adapt quickly, and hold themselves to a higher standard because that's what the job demands. In the next video, we'll talk about the third and final phase of the nuclear power training pipeline called nuclear prototype training. That's where everything comes together. Hands-on reactor operations, real-time decision-making, and high-stakes qualification exams. From the classroom to the control room, Navy nukes are built to perform. Invest in one and you're not just filling a role, you're upgrading your team. I'll see you in the next video.